housing and energy uh, they are the two most big uh, cha uh, biggest challenges that india will face in times to come and uh, the housing stock is almost going to double in the next decade or two uh, energy wise uh, we are only able to fulfill the needs of uh, about 60% of our population and as india becomes a developed nation uh, the incomes are going to rise and the energy problem is going to get more acute so uh, thinking about climate change is definitely one thing but to be able to provide the quality of life to our people that is going to mean uh, a, a lot to do and uh, we also have to think about uh, the the indian culture in mind the uh, the way people live some of the ancient traditional techniques we want to revive them so in short it's like uh, affordability sustainability and the indian asset is what we want to strive at this project is really an ideal kind of uh, uh, playground for designers to to really improve their skills because you're you're looking at a, you're looking at a problem you're trying to find solutions but you're also bound to implement it so which is quite unique and being able to do that when you're still in college i think that's uh, that, that's quite uh, so i think it's a, it's a great initiative and over the last few months i can really see students Uh, gaining in maturity gaining in uh, you know their ability to make decisions etc is in, uh, because the, the format of the competition really offers them that uh, that uh, that opportunity you know so uh, it's actually a uh a, a tremendous experience uh, the the problem of uh, sustainability as such uh, is a problem that uh, the entire world is facing so the, the solutions also have to be global and so all the citizens of to of the world getting together to solve real world pro problems but at the same time having a lot of fun and the cultural diversity uh, learning from each other uh, that's amazing one of the projects that uh, i thought uh, was very striking to me was uh, uh, it was the project uh, by the uh, the denmark's uh, dtu team um, so they're also looking at uh, affordable uh, housing solutions in their own context so that was uh, pretty interesting that uh, being in a different climatic zone and a different kind of economy but looking at uh, Uh, similar problems but in a different way so there are many things to learn from them so yeah that that was something that i thought uh, we would closely want to know what they're up to by january sometime uh, uh, mid i would say uh, we'd like to have the first prototype ready and after that uh, like to do experimentation and testing to make sure all the systems are working fine and whatever learnings we have during this time we'd like to make modifications to that and then uh, do a dry run of uh, the assembly in 10 days for the next one disassemble and then ship it uh, another thing is um, we're doing it for the first time and being a team from india um, there's a lot of expectations so uh we'll be we'll be putting in our best but uh, we do realize there's a lot of challenges ahead of us and but we are very committed to face them head on